to just kind of give a dialogue of where we're going and what we're heading into. Um, oftentimes when we head into meditation, we're not equipped with the tools to actually penetrate until that soil, which is the heart of the soul. So for me, it's understanding that patience is your friend in meditation um, because you're trying to get to a space that's unconditional by releasing your conditions, all the things that continuously bind us to the conditions of this life. When we meditate, we give ourselves permission to identify with the unconditional part of ourselves. And that's what we're trying to reach. But oftentimes, we don't realize all the layers upon the soil that are caked up, our worries, our doubts, our fears, our insecurities. And those things can literally dissolve with the breath. You know, we talk about the breath, but what is the purpose of being aware of the breath? It's, it's literally the identity of what you are. As you focus on the breath, you understand that you are more breath than body. Because without breath, there is no you. So that's one thing that helps me get into meditation more deeply. Is because as we go, we're literally seeing the static thoughts. We're seeing these happenings, the conditions that literally are part of our day. And usually in whatever part of the day we meditate, it's that time of day where those certain thoughts are already flowing. So what do we have to do? We have to say, okay, patience is my friend. It is my tool. It is my unconditional tool to reach peace, which is your birthright, which is a soul right. So as we begin, and, and, and I always state this before we starting, my voice and my presence is only a reflection and an echo. Feel free to ignore my voice because this is about your journey, not my voice. You understand? You know, and that's sometimes we, we get caught up on the instructor and that what's being instructed or what's being led through the corridor of your heart. So just follow that feeling, follow that, that peace, follow that presence. It's not about me. It's about you finding home in a space that I call home as well. So let's go ahead and get comfortable, whatever position you want to get into. Um, and just I'm going to start off by taking a deep inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now as you inhale and you exhale, on your exhale, allow yourself to sink deeper. Each inhale. Understand, as your thoughts flow by, as you sink deeper, the thoughts dissolve. They dissipate. We're following the awareness of the breath and all its gifts that it has to offer us. Your peace has no end. So gift yourself this moment and allow you to sink deep into your breath. In this space you are timeless. You are free, unburdened and unconditional. As the stream of thoughts pass by and they flow through, don't get attached. Allow yourself to be free in this moment. Because one thing that you need to understand is meditation is you are. So just be. We breathe in now, and exhale, see where that breath flows through your body, for you. Allow it to flow more and more through. Be vulnerable to the energy that progresses you. In this space, you have to allow yourself to feel that love, to feel that peace, to feel that presence, to feel whole. 
you're deserving, and you can always gift yourself this. In this state, you're just naturally you. You're free of the definitions. the limitations, the restrictions. Allow yourself to feel this deep, deep, deep freedom within your soul. The lightness of your heart. As your mind finds its clarity and harmony and rhythm, keep flowing. When you enter this in unconditional realm, you have to realize it's unconditional. Give yourself the opportunity to expand, to send your intention further, to love yourself, to appreciate who you really are. All the things that you've continuously climbed through as the soul, the strength of your heart, It's always with you. Upon this inhale, I want you to bring it all the way up into your body. Release it down to the roots of your feet. This time, let it go down into the earth. By doing this, you're extending your body. You're identifying with the bigger part of yourself. Inevitably, you are a part of this earth. So give yourself the opportunity to expand into earth. is your mother, she birthed you, you and your mother are one, so allow yourself to be home. next inhale, take it in, send it as far as you can and allow into the universe, unconditionally, just let it flow freely from the depths of you to the depths of that which is known and unknown. Always open to receive that which you send out. And the more that you build this relationship, the more that it reveals itself to be true. As I once said, you are not just this immediate body. You are not just this earth. You are that which is and always will be. So in this space, you have the right to claim that. To undefine as the unconditioned. 
that is your divine permission to do. It's the most natural empowerment there is to know that you are always free and all you have to do is allow yourself to be. In this state, don't feel bad to move, to allow your body to do what it's supposed to do. Meditation is stillness. Stillness flows. And this is what you're getting adjusted to. It's making this flow the base of your identity. You're not force, but you are a powerful, and I mean powerful flow. This is what makes you unique, yet is what makes us all universal, because it's a language we all can speak. It's a presence we all can share, and it's a gift we can always receive and give. Once you understand that, the canvas of life shifts. How you show up shifts. How you feel in the moment shifts. Because the whole while, you were whole. You were always whole. Meditation is a state of being. It's allowing yourself to be that flow uniquely as you. Wherever there's tension, continue to allow the breath to just dissolve it. Naturally, easily. Understand that this breath is your abundance. As long as you're in this life, this immediate present, as a human, this breath is your power. It is life itself. And the more that you become intimate with it, the more that you build a synergy with it, the more that you can apply it into every facet, every medium, every way and path. But you have to allow that to be you and allow yourself to be that. There's no separation other than that which you continuously choose. And as we take this descending into the body, Understand, you don't have to reclaim those conditions that don't progress your being. Let go of all unnecessary resistance. Because it was never yours to hold on to. But the present is everything to receive. Realize how close this place is for you. One step into the ocean, you become the ocean. Vulnerability to the ocean, you become the horizon. You become the horizon, your soul is free. In that very moment, you can turn back and look at life from a perspective that you've never seen it. of any limitation, you see the scope, you see the novelty of life. That which seemed old is renewed. That which seemed impossible is possible. In a state of timelessness, everything is possible. This is how we heal. This is how we create. This is how we love. This is how we forgive. In this state, I love you, and I send you love 
to, through, beyond, and before you. A lot of access that you receive. Now, you are vulnerable to this energy, to this space, to this peace. You've identified with it more and more, and you will continue to do so. The only thing that it asks of you is that you bring it with you. You carry it with you. You remember this. Appreciate it. This is how we create value. If you bring this peace and this love with you wherever you go, I can assure you your life will shift. Because you have shifted. And as I say, meditation is just, it's life. Therefore, as you continue to deepen this practice, just like yoga, <laughs> you have to bring it with you, baby. You have to bring it with you. This is yours. This is always yours. No matter what comes, contrast, resistance and all, inspiration, it overcomes it every time. Understanding, we're just starting and we're tilling the soil. And the more that you till the soil, it becomes ripe to the nutrients of your soul. Your, your roots become deeper, they spread deeper. Because what is endless in you is allowing it to go deeper and deeper. And the seed of intention, which is your soul, is now capable of blossoming and blooming to extents that were once unknown. Cherish your knowing. Cherish this space. It's your sanctuary. <laughs> it is your sanctuary. As we come back to awareness, remember you are the seed of intention. What is it that you desire? Is it peace? Is it freedom? Is it happiness? Is it creativity? Is it relationships? Is it a high integrity to the soul that you're becoming aware of? Is it abundance? Is it generosity? Compassion, clarity, insight, wisdom. All of these are rooted in the timeless. All of these you can find within yourself. All of these are your birthright and your tools to manifest the life that you desire, to hold space for those that you love dearly, and to impact this world in a way that it's never known before. Because it's never known you. So soul to soul, may you show up as the soul that you're coming to know. May you show up as the freedom that you're coming to know. And accept this vulnerably and in the most wholesome state of appreciation. You are 
are now the flow. I love you. I'm grateful for you. And thank you for taking this journey with me. Namaste. you enjoyed this beautiful day and I appreciate you. Unmute yourself Chris. Ooh. My leg was not <laughs> Thank you love. Thank you. It's so good to see you. That was beautiful. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey that's the that's the point. That created all and finding the ohm in all things. Wherever you'd like your hands, we bring them in that space. Inhale deeply and exhaling for Om. Om. Om Shanti 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 Om Namah Shivaya Om Jai Bhagwan Ki Jai Namaste. Namaste. Appreciate you.